Well, hey there guys, what's really going on? Well, it's Sunday here, as you can tell, and uh, I've been having a lot of problems with this fucking thing, this MVP, and I'm gonna show you right now what the problem is, and uh, let's see if you can see it. So if you look right down that 510 connector, you see that uh, on that side there's a nice insulator, but on this side there's nothing anymore. Yep, that basically failed. What happens is over time after using it and stuff, the pin ends up getting pushed underneath the grommet. So you go in there with a flathead screwdriver and you push to pull the pin back out. And it's supposed to repair the problem. However, uh, when juice gets down in there and lands on those O-rings, it uh, tends to dry them out, it tends to hurt them a little bit. Just like that fart did to my room. So what I found online was apparently you can go to Home Depot or Canadian Tire, anywhere that sells O-rings, and you can get number 60 O-rings rings which will fit in a connection like that now I'm not sure what the diameter uh, inner and outer I need I'm gonna have to look up the video again and get the proper inner and outer but uh, we're gonna go to Home Depot and uh, pick that up because I really want that MVP working again because I used to like to run it with um, my other K fun fuck it was a good K fun runner so I just thought I'd show you what's left of this o-ring and as you can see right there she is cut and broken and burnt and basically to get that o-ring out what you gotta do is you gotta grab this pin like I used um, these and this screwdriver here and then you just gotta work it inside of that pin to uh, get everything out like basically to just work the sides and edges and slowly pull it up not too hard because this is being held on by hot glue and there are wires directly soldered to this and if you apply too much pressure you'll rip that wire clean off then you got the fun job of taking off the top and resoldering and trying to get this fucking button to go back into place not easy not easy but uh, let's go to Home Depot we'll get those number 60 so it's a uh, quarter inch outer diameter eighth inch inner diameter and uh, we'll go buy those they're number 60 at um, fucking Home Depot I'm also gonna stop off at the buck store on the way back and grab some shite so you know what it's time for because it's daytime the son of a bitchers in the car. That's right. So let's go and do this. Let's go get some parts and fix this fucking thing because I like it. The other reason why I want to go to the box store is uh, because they have um, these fucking amazing precision screwdrivers that are great for wrapping coils on. Yeah, yeah they are. Really? Comfy? If you're warm, why don't you go sit on the couch? I got the fan on down here, dude. Yep. It's already a cluttered fucking mess on the table, eh? Three pop cans, a mouse, a fucking remote, and all that shit. Yeah, I got this fan going over here. Which, let me tell you, the downstairs is a lot more tolerable with just one stupid little fan blowing air around. And a dog. Excuse me. So, I'm gonna head off to the uh, home repo. We're gonna go and buy those number 60s. We're gonna come back. We're gonna fix the MVP. We're gonna barbecue. Just thinking about going to the beer store, too, and just picking up a uh, six-pack of beer. But, uh, I don't know. Tonight I need to get some fucking gaming going, for freak's sakes. Oh, wait, hey, it's windier than a motherfucker out here. Yeah, backyard looks dicked. I missed a spot there and I missed a fucking spot back there. Oh, I suck at little mowing lawns. Oh, let's get the cock out of here. Let's go to Home Repo. Okay, people, so we're gonna go to Home Depot, pick up some shit. But, um, I wanted to talk about the problem I had with these, with these son of a bitchers yesterday. Okay, apparently with the new firmware, which I haven't installed yet, which I'm going to do probably tonight, um, it adds some noise reduction software. And when uh, M13 was sent his, apparently they already had that feature on them or some shit. I don't know. Or he did the upgrade and forgot to tell everybody. Because, like, by stock, Pivot had made a shitload of these, and they just fire them out with the first revision. And for people who works with the first revision, cool, if they have complaints, to go to the website, and then they're like... Oh, have you tried updating to the fourth revision of the firmware? It's like, fuck, why don't you just send it out with the fourth revision if that's what your suggestion is going to be? But, uh, no, no. They, uh, they don't really care. Like, they, they send it out with the first, and if it works for you and does the job and you never update, well, fuck, bang on. But if, uh, you're having complaints about it, their next su suggestion is to upgrade to the fourth version. So maybe tonight we'll fucking crank her off on the fourth but uh, no I was really bummed out about uh, that MVP when it died and that died right after I came back from blokes like it was actually on the drive back that I had it plugged into my car charging it because I forgot to charge it the night before I blokes and then um, 
when I came back, I was like halfway home and she fucking died. So I ended up pulling off at a gas station, going through my shit and grabbing another dart just to replace it for the time being. So I wouldn't be dartless on my drive home because I fucking love vaping and driving. It's like my two favorite things. But um, yeah, when that died, I was all upset and I was like looking up different options and all this and told Bloke what happened and he was like, oh mate, that's not good. He goes, can you give me fixed? And I said, I don't know. And at the time I couldn't find anything online. Then I came across an e-cigarette forum where, uh, oh yeah, uh, they basically said, um, go ahead and buy number 60 grommets or O-rings, sorry, and they'll fit, but the pin's gonna sit a little higher. So like you won't be able to like cinch a tank right down like you can right now. This is where the beauty ring will come in because the beauty ring is going to have to be unscrewed a little bit just to make it look like a flush connection. So I don't, I don't mind doing that. I don't mind fucking dicking around with the beauty ring and things just to make it work. But uh, yeah. So it's going to cost $2.50 for, um, for 10 MVP ring replacements. And I could probably use them in other darts too that have faulty O-rings. Honestly, I'm starting to cool. Okay, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Fuck, come into the lane. Any any decade now. Fucking idiot. Jesus Christ, longest merger ever. You'd swear he's an airplane trying to take off or some fucking nonsense. Jesus. But, um... Yeah. So that'll give me 10 MVP replacements and other replacements and I question if the problem with the uh, fucking uh, what the hell is that device called oh the L Rider Lambo that I bought a long time ago uh, or I got a long time ago I didn't buy that one that was sent to me for reviews uh, the 20 watt stick there I question if that one there's having the same problem because I was sub ohming like a prick with that one too it goes down to 0.5 and I ran that thing at 0.6 all the time and that atomizer got really hot so you know the heat transfers right back into the fucking uh, the center pin right back into the device and just kicks the living shit out of the poor um, the poor grommets there the the o-rings but lately I've been enjoying this setup the Hannah mods with the uh, k-fun onto it get awesome flavor Pretty good vapor, but K funds aren't about the vapor, it's all about the flavor flav. And uh, all in all, it's not too bad. What's going on down there? Nothing. Can we go yet? Fuck, I got things. Finally. So. And tomorrow we're off. We don't work tomorrow. But then I have no idea what the fuck's really going on because uh, I gotta work this coming weekend. And then I gotta work next weekend. Like, a week from today I'll be working, and then I think he's going to give me Monday off, and then i got to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or I mean, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and have Friday off, and work Saturday, Sunday, have Monday off. Like, it's going to be this broken-ass, busted-up, motherfucking bullshit work, but I'll get a day off in between, so you, like, work three, you have one off, work two, have one off, work three, have one off, work two, have one off. So, that might not be too bad, now that I think about it. Like, it'll be all broken up, and... And, and it won't be so bad so I don't know he's supposed to design it on uh, Monday let me know what I'm working when but or tomorrow I should say he's supposed to design it and then he'll give me my schedule on Tuesday when I go in for my first shift to show me where I'm working and what I'm doing so uh, yeah probably should have signaled there to let people know I'm going to Home Fucking Depot fucking Home Depot bitches gonna go buy some fucking o-rings all this driving for two dollars and fifty cents worth of fucking rubber it's kind of stupid stay the fuck there there old lady punch you right in the fucking clitoris Jesus going to the depot gonna buy some fucking o-rings going to the depot gonna buy some fucking o-rings fucking no rings in a can that were put there by a man to stuff in e-cigarettes no that's not right um 
Well, there'll be the entrance. So, we're gonna go on her. Oh, I wish these were the polarizing lenses. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna walk in there with my son of a bitches on. Let's go fucking shopping for some O rings. Grab my wallet, grab my E dirt. Holy dick. I'll tell you a little something about this weather out here. Oh, fuck this Plumbing. O-rings. Flexible J band, ABS down, son of a bitch. Oh, some fucking valves. Some couplers, a bunch of other things. A bunch of copper. Sonar kits. Ooh, that's cool. Toilet seats and medicine cabinets. Fuck sakes. How about some bloody O rings? this whole time. Thing you could do. 
Excuse me. I need a quarter inch uh, O ring with an eighth inch inner diameter. I was told they would have them here, but well, not sure where else O rings would be. This is everything I have. You said quarter inch outside with a one inch, one inch inside? Yeah. It doesn't say on the back that this is a quarter inch flat, but I need it to be round all around. No, it says on the back. Actually, it does. 9 16 outside, 3 8 inside. Okay. So that's going to be, what did you say, sorry? Quarter inch Quarter inch outer, outer eighth, eighth inside. Yeah. As long as it's uh, a little, even if it's bigger than an eighth, as long as it keeps the pin from making connection with the outer wall. Literally, it's for one of these things. The oh, yeah. rubber grommet inside blue. Because like, like that, that there is probably the smallest O-ring I have. And that's quarter inch outer. Uh, the outside of that looks like it's. Um, That's between a quarter inch and three eighths, something or other sixteenths. Three sixteenths? Probably around three that, yeah. Sixteenths. Well, three sixteenths would be smaller than a quarter. Yes. So five sixteenths. I don't know if I could make that work. I could probably try it and just smash it in there. <laughs> oh, boy. This is the sort of O-rings. literally this one here is about the same yeah I can make that work perfect yes. yep should be all right perfect great thanks okay this just in. A dick. So, let's go pay for this and then off to the mall. Hmm, pretty.
Yeah, I was going to wait in line, but fuck that nonsense chick you was like, right now to damn check and shit. And I got things, so hopefully this dollar fifty works. like a classic because they don't make Saturn anymore. Looks kind of stupid with the one tailpipe on the one side not on the other. Oh well. Oh well. Oh dick. Oh. Nice. Hopefully this does the job. Fuck sakes. Let's get out of here. Off to the dollar store. The dollar store. Oh fuck. Maybe a squirt of anti-BO juice. Fuck I stink. Just give myself a couple. A couple dirty blasts. Mask of the smell of my awesome odors. Fuck's sakes, can of pop. Anyway. How we doing for battery life? Ah, uh, still kicking it. All right, let's go to the mall. I'm not gonna film in the mall like I did in Home Depot. I already gotten shit a bunch of times for that. Okay, I haven't been kicked out of Home Depot yet, okay? So, um, okay. We're just gonna go to the mall, okay? And we're gonna like uh, look at some stuff, okay? Get some screwdriver sets for wrapping coils, okay? And um, maybe some munchies for later on tonight, okay? Okay, okay, Mr. Mackey, okay. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Uh, let's go to the mall and buy some worthless shit. Oh, there's another uh, Big Bad Dodge, just like Adrian's. Yeah, big Bad Dodge. I know it's not here because this one here has dualies coming out of the bum. I knew it. Even though the dualies are fucking crazy. That would drive me nuts if I owned that truck. Nice fucking chrome bumper all built for dual exhaust and the fucking mufflers don't even line up. Oh, that would drive me nuts. I'd be like banging them with a hammer to get them to fucking line up. This has come from a guy who doesn't have OCD. So there you go. Since you know that exhaust system is probably like a 300 fucking dollar at least exhaust system. And that chrome bumper. Hey bro, green means go. Find it and fucking grind it, goof. Jesus Christ. Fucking idiot truck driver. Ha! Just fucking nailed him. Fuck you and your fucking... You just turn around and flip me the bird, that cunt. Holy shit. He's like, fuck you, man. I was talking to my wife, planning on beating the shit out of her later on and things. And you go and fucking honk at me and ruin my day? Fuck you, bitch. I'm going to beat her extra hard tonight and it's going to be y'all fault. That's what, he, that's what he probably said. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. But, uh, fuck him and his thunder cunt face. Um, let's go to the mall. Fucking fucker. Oh, that's a nice car. That's a nice little car you got there, bud. Really well taken care of. Holy shit. Fucking really well taken care of indeed. Okay. Well, even though there's people coming, I got things. 4.30. Fucking mall closes in one or in 30 minutes. 30 minutes till the fucker shuts down. And um, we're going to the buck store. 
30 minutes in the buck store, plenty of fucking time. Don't even worry about it. Don't even ruffle your fucking tits about it, son. Raho, your tits. Raho. Okay, I'm shutting these off. And uh, we're gonna go into the dollar store. Let's go. Alrighty, we're done at the mall, but I have a feeling we're not gonna make the beer store. Checking. Come on, tell me the time, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Oh, you slut. There we go. Um, <laughs> car does that from time to time. Yeah, we're not gonna make the beer store. They close at five, it's five minutes to five. Chances are, if it's really not busy, they've already shut her down, so we're just gonna head her home. But, uh, went into the buck store, got a bunch of shit. They didn't have the right screwdrivers. The one that, uh, the, um, the, they got screwdrivers. I, I grabbed them because they're only a buck. But, um, and they do have some really small sizes, which I like for wrapping tiny fucking coils, like little micros and nanos and shit. But, um, my biggest concern was uh, the ones that, uh, oh dick, the ones that Rip Tripper has there, he got his at the Dollar General, which is an American thing, and uh, his got this great big thick fucking black handle onto them, which is great for uh, for holding onto when you're wrapping coils, you get a good grip on it when, you got it when you're a guy like me with big fucking meaty hands, right? But uh, they didn't have them at our dollar store. Ours were just basically the generic fucking shitty type of, uh, you know, the silver handle black fucking uh, blade screwdrivers. Holy shit, anybody want some fucking stuff? Skids of it behind the mall. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to head her home. Try and wedge that O-ring into that fucking thing. And get that MVP back up and running and then build a K fund for it. And uh, get that e-dart off the ground again. Because I miss using that e-dart. That e-dart was simple. It was easy. It was very, very, very basic. And it get, gets along really well with these uh, K-Funds, with the way I build them. Because the problem with these K-Funds is you do not need a lot of wattage to make them perform. So having this K-Fund on this 20-watt DNA is probably not the smartest thing to do right now. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. Where are you bringing those skids? You want to bring them to my house? I want to make some outdoor patio furniture. Fucking blue, too. That'd be awesome. Just talk to Walmart and see about getting some old skids. Maybe do that on the back. Make like a fucking skid patio, uh, a skid table or a skid bench. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Today, today is going to be one of those days. Rex 16 wants to do coffee. Fuck, bud, you got a flat. Rex 16 wants to do a coffee at after supper fucked if I know what he calls supper um, yeah and I just want to get that MVP up and running before I do anything and I'm thinking tonight I'm finally gonna give uh, uh, ghost dog no fuck I can't even remember the name of the game god damn it but uh, nerd cube just played it recently and watchdogs that's the one I was thinking about giving that game a go tonight and recording my uh, gameplay and even though it's fucking old, you know what's, you know what's the big problem is? Is I got Watch Dogs, which is fucking old, and then I also have another game, uh, South Park and the Stick of Truth, which is like fucking ancient, that I, re that I got like two, three months, whenever it came out I bought it. I actually had it pre-ordered and um, I never did anything with it. It's not even installed on my fucking computer. Like, that's how bad it is. I never even bothered to install the fucking thing on my PC. So, probably should start playing some more video games. What it, what it is is, back in May and April, I got so friggin' involved with Grand Theft Auto Online and we were playing so much. Like, we were playing like every night for like four or five hours that I built up so much friggin resources for the gaming channel that I was good on until like the, the end of June and then I had a little bit more for July and I just haven't had the will to play video games like I just it's hot out it's gross out I don't really wanna 
be sitting on my computer playing video games. I'd rather just do other things, but sometimes uh, I just don't feel like doing anything. A lot of the times, anyway. Matt. I'm not even a little chafed that I didn't get any beer today. Don't really need any. I think I'm just going to drink the rest of my case of pop tonight. Just chill out. Oh, fuck. So, that was fun at Home Depot. I hope this fucking grommet works. But anyway, people, I'm almost home, so I'll check in once I get there. And, uh, nice fucking car, bro. Anyway, uh, I'll check in once we get there, and we'll go from there. So, until then, peace the frig out. Alrighty, well, this is the uh, pig iron friggin' precision screwdriver set. The one I like is that one right there. The number two, because it's a tiny little thing for making great coils. And another good one is right there, the one mil. You can use the quarter mil or the two mil. You can really generate some sick as tits fucking coils off of those. And they came with these little ratchet ones, but I can give a shit about those. And some Allen key ones, and for some reason, a pipe. I'm not sure what the fucking pipe's for, but whatever. Oh, you put the pipe through the top, and then you can screw it better. Well, ain't that ingenious? Pig iron dollar store screwdrivers. Fuck yeah. I also bought this thing here, it's just like a shop light, runs on batteries, 27 inch, or 27 LEDs here, and then you got one LED in the top for a flashlight, kind of neat, it was a buck, but it's a good little shop light, and it's got like magnets on it, so you're going to laugh, but uh, you know, it'll stick to the wall, and I can, oh I need my light, boop, you know, grab it and go, you know, just like that, you know what? That's a uh, pretty bright, a little bit off angle, but check out the spotlight mode. Look at that. That's pretty fucking good, eh? Not too shabby, not too shabby. Fuck yeah, that's bright as frig. Forgot that I was making a movie on this. Well, all I did was grab the smallest O-ring there, and I just wedged her in there around the pole. And I'm just going to work it in and then push the pin back down, and then we'll load something onto it and see if it fires. Alrighty, and survey says 1.4 ohms, 3.9 volts. Let's see if it vapes. Wait, what do we got this at for power? 10 watts. Did we fix it or is it going in the pooper? We fixed it, buddy. Works again. Perfect. Like a bouse. Next step would be to make sure that none of this is dirty. It looks all clean. So. I'm going to say that we are good to go. The MVP has been saved! Woo! Anyway, people, I think what I'm going to do is stop videoing for now. I'm going to call this vlog a uh, quits. Uh, there's a lot of footage and stuff, and it's already pretty long as it is. So if something else happens, I'll start up another one. But if not, that's all for today, people. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Questions, comments, concerns down below, they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.